Good so, morning. <laughs> so where? Good morning. <laughs> where are we going, Lisa? We're going to Cancun. We're going to Cancun, and we're flying this time. So we're here in the Philadelphia airport, and uh, we're about ready to go to the USO lounge, and then uh, we'll see how it is, and uh, we'll hop on our plane. I don't know. I might want to stay right here, though. We're, we're at Philadelphia airport, and behind us. Um, and off to that side is a virtual library hotspot. Check it out. And so they have books, online books, that you can access. Check it out, a virtual library hotspot at Philadelphia International Airport. This comes from the Free Library of Philadelphia. And they have a short story dispenser, so you tell them how much time you have to read and they dispense a short story for you, or you have access to all this other fun stuff like ebooks online. This is the most awesome thing I have ever seen. Let's go get some food and some coffee for you. Let's do it. There's a really nice USO lounge, and they actually made uh, waffles to order with some fruit for me. Yeah. Food bar. Some scrambled eggs there. We're waiting to board Southwest. Hola! <laughs> and uh, we got great boarding position here on Southwest this time A45, A51. So uh, that's just the St. Louis. You know, St. Louis, uh, I think it's even better. St. Louis, St. Louis to Cancun. So it's a nice little terminal here for Southwest. 50 people on this flight. Everyone could have a set of three seats to themselves if they wanted. Look at all these empty seats. Because no one wants to go to Cancun here in November. Well, I want to go to Cancun in November. How about you? You want to go to Cancun in November? I'd love to go to Cancun in November. I think you're going to Cancun in November. And here we go. Um, we're going to start the, we're going to start the drinking here pretty soon. And uh, it's uh, too bad I'm not super tired because I slept on the last flight. Otherwise, I'd just throw up on uh, one of these three seats. All right, so why don't you tell us what the weather forecast is in Cancun? Uh, I think there might be one night where there's a little bit of rain in about eight days from now. But for the most part, it looks like it's in the low 80s during the day, mid 70s at night, going down to as low as 65 at night. Mostly sunny or partly cloudy. We sort of alternate between those two forecasts. And uh, like you said, maybe, maybe the third town will be a charm. And we'll actually get to do some snorkeling in, uh, off of Cozumel. We've, we've, had, uh, we've had two, two not-so-successful trips of trying to snorkel off of Cozumel. So, all right, closing it down. They're shutting everything off. They're going to be closing the doors pretty soon. And we're going to be taking off and starting the drinking. Well, this is the entry into our condo here in uh, Cancun. It's called the uh, Brisas Complex. And this is, uh, we're just really ecstatic about this place. Found it at the last minute because this whole trip is last minute. But, uh, you know, it's a perfect location. The beach is great. The, uh, there's a really nice pool. It's got everything everything we need here. A nice little kitchen area, living area. And people never show you the bathroom. But uh, here's a satisfactory bathroom sink that's outside. And, uh, you know, we've got. You know, the bedroom here, we oh. got we got Lisa. Hello. So, Welcome to my oasis. Our oasis. They have a little sitting room. It's just delightful in every way. It is. This is just uh, it's just great. And then and our hostess was so good. And then an outdoor little outdoor area where we can sit and as she said have coffee or whatever. But uh, this is super super nice. Super happy we found it at the last minute, and the price was right. Six ninety five. Six ninety five for nine nights. For nine nights. Nine nights can't beat that. All right, more later. Our first night here, and we're at a little restaurant. And uh, first thing you see here is the sign: "This cocodrilos are in the lagoon," and our host. Already told us that there's no kayaking in this lagoon, even, by the though, way, there's a kayak right there. even though it looks 
tempting. It looks nice to be able to do that, but uh, doesn't, no fishing. doesn't mean that no one does it. But here is here's the uh, the restaurant that we chose. And as she was correct, it was about 60 meters down from our hotel. Quite cute. Very nice. Let's hope the food's good. And let's hope the food is cheap. Hotel zone here in Cancun stretches 28 kilometers. There's a road, road uh, right behind all these hotels here that uh, runs up and down. There's actually uh, bus service. Buses come every five minutes. Costs 12 pesos, about uh, 60, 70 cents. And uh, you know, it's uh, very easy to get on, get off. Takes you into town. Takes you to uh, to some of the more uh, busier areas. Of, of the Cancun Strip here. We're actually in a very, very quiet area. Um, and uh, we actually kind of like it. Probably uh, less expensive. Beach is great. Not too many people on it. Of course, it is uh, November. But uh, no, nonetheless, um, you know, it's easy to, easy to get to places, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty inexpensively. All the action, all the action happens down in this direction. I'll take a picture when the sun comes up and uh, you, know, you, can, you can get a better view of what it looks like down there during the daylight. Came out and did a little uh, Christmas shopping here, and uh, there, there's a mall uh, here on the, uh, the hotel zone. And um, we got a little late, so we decided to have some food, and we encountered one of the nicest food courts we have ever seen in our lives. So uh, this is sort of the marina area here in Cancun, and uh, this is uh, a little tour of this uh, this food court. Yeah, we, had a, we had a great seat. There's Lisa. Waiting for me to shoot some video. Just a slew of these little individual places to order food. 
all sorts of different types. I don't even know what they are. Here's some tostadas. Pizza. This is, I got some, I had a uh, hamburger here. <clears throat> Tacos, got some steak here. Some uh, Mexican, Mexican cuisine here. Vietnamese street food. Like the it's just super nice. So we're in the uh, we're in the business lounge. It's waiting for our flight. Got about uh, about an hour and fifteen minutes before boarding time starts. We actually have uh, great boarding numbers here on our flight back flying through uh, Fort Lauderdale. We're A19 and A20. <laughs> First time getting that numbers that low ever before. So on Southwest. On Southwest. Yeah. And uh, so that flight, probably not gonna be many people on it. We got numbers that low, but uh, check out the business lounge here. Super nice. We're like the first people here today, so uh, no food in the buffet yet. So they're, uh, I think they're cooking it up for special. Some working stations, some workstations. Another nice seating area. Uh -oh. Here's the bar. We're gonna see if we can get ourselves some mimosas. I think, it, I think at least it's gonna be successful in getting the mimosas. Excellent, way to go. Hi, I'm just relaxing and enjoying my three seats that I get to myself on the sun. 35 people on this flight. And we're on one of those planes that has tons of blood. 35 people on this flight. So. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. 